In this video, I'll be showing you how to upload files to a database and then download those files. So the first thing I need is a way to upload the files. So I have a basic Flask app here. And what I'll do is I'll run it and we see it has a simple input for a file. And this is what the template looks like. It's just basically a simple form that's centered in the page. Uh, just note that you need the multi-part form data when you're working with forms that upload files, because if you don't have that, it won't work. So just keep that in mind if you're trying this out and it doesn't work. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is I'll create a model and this model is going to hold some information about the file and then the data for the file. So I'll call this class upload. It's gonna be a SQL Alchemy model, of course. And every SQL Alchemy model needs an ID. So I'll just create that. It's going to be the primary key. And then next what I'll do is I'll add a name. So I'll just put file name and this will be the name of the file when they upload the file through the form. And then finally I have the data. So this will be the raw data of the file that I'll be storing inside the database. So for this particular thing, I need to use a data type called a large binary. And that just allows me to store arbitrary binary data in the database. So keep in mind that typically you don't store files in the database. Normally what people do is they store them like on a file system or some service like S3, and then they'll just store the metadata in the database. But you could store the files in the database if you don't have that many files or due to limitations, you just wanna keep everything in the database. Like you can do it. You may run into performance issues if you try to combine the file data with other uh, columns in a single table. And you may run into performance issues if this table with the file data gets really big. But if you wanna do it, you can. That's why I'm making this video. So now that we have the class, what I want to do is first, I want to take in the file from the form and just make sure that that's working. So what I'll do is I'll put a request method in here to handle the request. So request.method equals post. And then what I'll do is I'll import request because I haven't done that already. And I'll start by bringing in the file. So I'll just name this variable file and then it's going to be request.files. So this will get all the files that are sent in the requests. The key for the particular file that I'm sending is just file and the name and the form on the HTML side. And I'll save it to that variable. Next thing I'll do is I'll just return the name of the file. So I'll say something like uploaded and then the name of the file, just so we can see that it's working. And then once I go over to the app, I'll just upload a file. We see the name there in the middle. So flask upload, download, and the rest of the stuff, it's an image file. And we see that's what gets returned when we upload it. So the next thing I wanna do is I want to add this to the database. So this is going to use the model. So upload uppercase is the model and I'll just name the variable upload as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass in the file name to the file name field. And then I'll pass in the data of the file to the data field. So the way you pass in the data is by using file.read or whatever the name of your variable that hosts the file, dot read. So file.read in this particular case, just takes all the binary data for the file and then assigns it to wherever you put it. So in this case, it's going to data. And then I'll just add it to the session and then I'll commit. And now to get this working, the first thing I need to do is I need to create my database and the table within the database. So I'll open up a Python REPL and then I'll import DB and then I'll do db.createAll. So this will create the database. And if we take a look over here, we can see that the table has been created. Now what I wanna do is I want to run this and upload a file and we'll be able to see what happens. So now when I go over to my database, what I'll do is I'll browse the data. And we see here, I have the table. So I have the ID, I have the file name. And then in the data, it says blob. So blob just means binary large object. And if we look over here in my database tool, we can see the image. So this is basically the thumbnail for this very video. And because this program is not an image viewer, it doesn't look so great in here, but we can see that it is the thumbnail. And it just happens to allow previews of images, but for other types of binary data, it doesn't work. So I'll upload a PDF file. And as you can imagine, my database viewer doesn't have a PDF viewer in it. So instead of seeing the PDF, you just see basically random information. This just represents the binary data for that PDF file. And of course, this can be the same for any other file that you upload. So it can be an MP3, it can be some kind of movie file, uh, it can be a code file, whatever it is, it's just going to display the best it can. If it's something like text, it can display the text. If it's image, it can display the image, but if it's pretty much anything else, then it just displays the data for the file itself. So now let's go back over to the code. And what I wanna do is I want to create a route to download this data. So I've uploaded it to the database and saved it to the database successfully. I wanna be able to get it back. So I'll create a route called download and I'll have a variable in it called upload ID. And what I'll do with this upload ID is I'll just query the database using that ID and I'll return the data for that particular 
ID. And of course, I'm returning a file mainly. So that's the information that I'll be getting out of the database for that particular row. So I'll just call this upload equals and then I'll perform a query. So upload.query.filter by. And then inside the filter by, I can do ID equals upload ID. There should only be one of these, so I'll use dot first. And now what I want to do is I want to import a couple of things to make this work. So first, I need to import something from Flask called sin file. Pretty self-explanatory. It's going to allow me to return a file instead of HTML. And then I'll also need to import bytes.io from IO. And this will just allow me to take the binary data in the database and then convert it to a format that Flask can use to basically regenerate the file. So send file and then bytes IO and then I'm passing in the data. So upload.data, this corresponds to the data column in my database. And then for this, just to make it clear, I'm going to use the same name. So I can take the file name from the upload and then pass it to this attachment file name. And because I'm using attachment file name, that means I want this to be an attachment. So I can do as attachment is equal to true. Okay, so let's take a look at this. I will go to the download page and I'll just pass in one. And we see now I have this image. I can open it in my photos viewer or any other program I can save it to my computer. And then if I go to number two, this just downloads because it's a PDF. And when I open it, I see my data model design checklist PDF. So since you're watching this video, you're probably building some kind of data model in Flask SQL Alchemy. So I made this checklist to make it easy for you to know what you should have in your data model. So if you want to get this checklist from me, just go down to the link in the description below and you can get it and take a look at it and compare what I have in the checklist to what your data model is. So that's everything I want to show you when you're working with files in Flask SQL Alchemy.